Your name? Hold on, I already Hello, my name is Andre Williams and this is my concept map. <clears throat> so we'll begin with inorganic chemistry and organic chemistry, which both type of chemistry study elements. And elements are made up of atoms, which house the neutrons and protons, and also electrons. But the neutrons and protons are contained in the nucle nucleus, and the electrons are contained in the electron shell, and in the outermost shell is the valence electrons. And then atoms, um, one twelfth of an atom is a Dalton, and also the measure of atoms of 12 carbons is Avogadro's number, which is 6.23 times 10 to the 23rd. And that all equal, that equals one mole. And then the number of moles per liter solute is molarity. And then there's two types of atoms, which is you have electron acceptors and electron donors. And when those two are combined, they make the oxidative and reduction reactions. And from that, from those type of two reactions, you get um, anions, ions, acids, bases, hydronium ions, and hydrogen ions. And then also from the acids and bases, you make salts. And then you also have an indicator for the acids and bases, which is the pH. And Seven is neutral, and anything below seven is an acid, and anything above a seven is a base. And then you go on to the measure of attraction of an atom, which is electronegativity, and those go to different bonds, which are based on their electronegativities, which are pol is a polar bond, nonpolar bond. And then you have other type of bonds, like double covalent, triple covalent, and ionic. And from those type of bonds, you create the different hydrogen bonds and water, and the uh, water isotope isomers. And also you get the radio, radioactive, half, radioactive isotope. And from that, you get the half-life, which is the time required for a quantity to fall to half its value as measured at the beginning of the time period. And then moving back up to elements, you goes to, this is elements right here, it's going down to the compounds, which you have monosaccharides, water, and also polysaccharides. And then coming back to elements, you have the different types of elements, which are oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, phosphorus, potassium, and calcium. And these also makes the functional groups hydroxyl, carbonyl, ketone, aldehyde, carboxyl, carbos carboxylic acid, amino, I mean alcohol, methyl phosphate. And <clears throat> these also form different type of polymers like the amino forms the polymer protein. And when you combine a protein with a carbohydrate, you form glycoproteins and Carbohydrates also make up polysaccharides, and polysaccharides make up glycerols. And then the monomer unit of carbohydrates is sugar. And other different type of monomers, like sugar itself, are nucleotides and amino acids. Um, you also have saturated and unsaturated fats. Those are also monomers. And... The polymer for nucleotides is nucleic acid. And then you have when carbohydrates are combined with lipids, you get glycolipids. And from lipids, you, ha you also get phospholipids, which there's you get the hydrophobic and hydrophilic head from the or interactions between the two. The hydrophobic is when it's afraid of water, so it doesn't, it's, it's facing away from the water. And then you have the hydrophilic head, which is not afraid of water. And then from the lipids, the, from the, and then, yeah, from the lipids, you get unsaturated fats and saturated fats as well. And then from those two, you get the polymer unit, which is fatty acids. And then also moving back up to 
here, because I didn't go over this before, is the atomic weight is also measured in grams. And the in grams is a basic unit, and other type of basic units are the liters and meters. And then you also get, you go from liters to meters, those two are related. And that is the concept map.